Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Uh, someone mentioned uh, bump stocks. Should we talk about that in the, in the 16 minutes, Patrick? Bump stocks. Uh, yeah, so so I guess I, I guess the better question is, with the ATF being a, the ATF is an enforcement agency. I, I, that's the way I see it. They are an enforcement agency. Well, we have we have half of our agency. Literally half of it is regulatory. Like they go inspect the FFLs and they check out the wineries yeah. and the distilleries. So so regulatory have, and enforcement. Yeah. You never. It's it's kind of funny you say winery and distillery because I never think of a yeah. sommelier ATF agent. But there's probably that dude out there. Yeah, do they get a fine glass of wine? Yeah. You know? No, dude. Seriously, seriously. One point when I was in San Francisco, one of the regulatory people were on a big case and they wanted me involved, and I said, "Look, I know about this, yeah. but apparently it was something to do with somebody making." Uh, Cabernet wine, not out of Cabernet grapes. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Were you like, uh, guy. I don't but know anything about this. <laughs> it was a big deal, and they had to pay a bunch of back taxes, and hmm. they were basically cheating the people. If you buy whiskey, you want whiskey. Yeah, you exactly. don't want watered-down bullshit or whatever, and ATF's so, out there doing that yeah. job, too. Or if you so, get fake so, grenades from somewhere, you know what to <laughs> call up the ATF. If you so, grenades so are this, <laughs> from, from that standpoint, though, it's like mm -hmm. ATF doesn't make law. They enforce law. But with the regulatory things that have been coming down, uh, saying bump stocks are uh, machine guns, uh, potentially sh uh, uh, shoulder braces being short-barreled rifles – what pistol pistol it, braces pistol braces excuse me pistol yeah. braces being short barrel rifles what sort of remedies are there what do you what do we do <laughs> i got a uh -oh. stumper on you. i got a stumper yeah wow yeah vincent's yeah, actually he, thinking he a good one there in reality mm -hmm. you got to rely on the nra or the sportsman shooters association or wh whoever or yourself to litigate it so, because, like the bump stock, that was a big deal. Mm -hmm. And so everybody kind of went, even the NRA went, oh, this is a bad rule, but we understand. Um, when they start pressing for public commentary in the Federal Register, that's when you need to sound up. Mm -hmm. Would you do you are you familiar with the bump stocks? Did you come across bump stocks at all in in your work or just in living your life? No, no. Okay. No, um, they were not around mm -hmm. um, back in the day, and quite frankly, um, I, I, you know, you it's were, kind of a weird dichotomy. It's like right on the line. I mean, I'm I'm a gun guy. I love right. guns. I got all my guns. I but I'm sure you you've shot guns. machine guns. Would you consider like bump stocks to be because so right now the way they're looking at it, a bump stock, according to the to this nonsense that that was put out there by by between Trump, the NRA, and and the ATF, a bump stock off separated from the firearm is a machine gun on its own. What do you think about that? No, I I don't know that I go that far. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is the bump stocks are an accoutrement. Mm -hmm. It's an additional piece of equipment. Does it meet the definition of a machine gun? In my personal opinion, and I don't I don't make policy for ATF. No, it does not. But it was such a devastating impact in Vegas that it was a quid pro quo. It's like, Does, we'll give you that because, you know, you can do the the belt loop. You could bump uh, fire. I don't know. Have you ever bump fired? Bump fire a machine. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. make a gun fire like an automatic. 
Mm -hmm. But when you're producing an item that has that sole purpose, that's a little scary. That's a little, you know, I don't know. I'm yeah. not, I mean, it, obviously, it, so yeah, let's just give everyone that, that um, you know, that you're not part of Tech Branch, you didn't work in Tech Branch, you right. were undercover. That's mostly what we're, so we're like venturing outside mm-hmm. of your thing here. Now, and then you obviously said that you haven't used bump stocks. Now, from my, my experience of doing this, which is like I've been, in, I've been in this gun world for about eight years, been to a lot of shot uh-huh. shows, that's the place where I've interacted with the bump stocks. The companies that make them are always like, hey, shoot, our, shoot this thing. Never worked. So the whole idea that that was working so well in Vegas to me is is really kind of ridiculous. Oh, I think they work. Uh, I think well produced ones work, but I don't know that. Look, criminals don't follow the laws. See that's so a, I outlaw yeah. all the bump stocks you want mm-hmm. and Billy Bob or Tyrone or whoever <laughs> right. is going to go get a bump stock that's aftermarket, been out there already on the streets and go shoot up South Chicago or... Well, I mean, it, so in your work, didn't you come across guys illegally making machine guns? Sorry, Patrick. Oh, yeah. I mean, so you, oh, what I was yeah. going to say is if it's between me having a illegal bump stock to go shoot something up or just drilling a third hole in my M16, I know which one I'm choosing. I'm not going to use a bump stock. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? When you start modifying firearms to fire full automatic, you're crossing the line. Yeah, but what he I, was what not I'm he was not confessing to any crimes. He was no, just saying no, it's no, 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 if you no, if you no, want to yeah. If you want to, no, the, the, he's I'm just saying, saying if I have to choose one or the other. I'm not picking up a bump stock. It, it's you know, it, there's no point. It's more know? simple if and gonna... effective to make a machine gun but than to use have. a bump stock. But yeah. people have they've sold a lot of bump stocks because in theory they do work and they're fun to shoot and whatever. That's all well and good for my Tennessee brethren. My redneck brethren who like to go out and shoot a bunch of ammo up. But if you put those out in the world where the gangsters can use those, um, I just don't know that there was a market for that. I just don't know why you would need that to usurp the NFA. Well, I think it was a sacrificial lamb. Um, because the in, like the, the guys making the bump stocks, it obviously wasn't enough guys to stand up and fight back against it. And to me, honestly, I've used them, and they've never ever, I've never ever found them to be effective. So I've got videos of them, but I never posted it because I was like, this doesn't, this doesn't really work. I've never, those guys have, it goes completely against the manual it's of operation of a rifle. Minor, it's yeah. such a minor argument, though. When we're talking about the Second Amendment mm-hmm. and your right to keep and bear arms to protect your family, to hunt, to sport shoot, to do whatever, mm-hmm. really the bump style, you know, throw it yeah. in the trash. Yeah. It's fine. Um, no. Kermit Loves Bacon says you should actually try one to see uh, if you. Um, he said, here, I'm going to read he what he says. He should actually try one. They don't actually work the way he uh, he thinks. Here's the problem with that. They're machine guns, so we can't even show him can't, a plastic. I can't try it. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's out the window. So getting, getting back but to the But at the end of the day, guys, mm-hmm. seriously, at the end of the day, we got AR-15s. We got 308 Lapuas. We got freaking 50 calibers. We got, you can register a mortar um literally you can buy machine guns and transfer them um at the end of the day is that really the fight we want to fight i mean i'm just saying if we if we put it only as that if someone said to me okay if you give up if you walk away from the bump stocks then we will stop going after anything else i might consider it i'm not saying i would do it but the well, prop they basically the, did they basically did. They're still going after, after stuff, though. Bump. Now, now listen to me. Mm-hmm. They went after the bump stocks and went all crazy and mm-hmm. outlawed them and and did a, a ATF policy and whatever. Mm-hmm. And not one of your other guns was touched. Not your fifty caliber Barrett. Not your 
AR-15, not your AK-47, not your uh, extended magazines. So really, like over this plastic piece that mm-hmm. might work and give you the feel of an automatic weapon, go to a range and shoot an automatic weapon or buy one. This ain't rocket science. We don't have to fight every freaking fight. Okay, so let's move on to braces because that's the next where the next uh <laughs> <laughs> That's where the next fight is, right? So so yeah, according yeah. to your premise, if they if they stop there, but you're saying they stop there, but they actually haven't stopped there, right? That's the next the next uh battle is going to be the you don't next know battle. What the next battle is. Uh, there's Nobody's... been leaks. Nobody has thrown down on uh, AR-15 pistols and the, the brace. Nobody. So, said- so we, so there. That's. Um, I, I could say this. We've seen leaks coming out of the ATF over the last several weeks. So our friend John Crump, who was in here earlier, and maybe I'll link you up with him because I think he also does a podcast and everything. It'd be great for you to go on his show. Um, He's gotten leaks from the ATF that they have spoken to Biden. Biden asked them for their wish list. And top of the wish list was the 80% lowers and the braces. But also from FOIA requests, there's evidence that there are cases being pressed against people for possessing uh, pistol braces. Wow, that was a lot. So where's the question? So the thing is, it, what happens? So what happens if that becomes the next uh, the next fight? Which we're I, I I'm thinking we're very close to that, right? So technically, you could say that's not a thing okay, yet. But. Assuming assuming you're right, and the pistol braces are the next on the list. Mm-hmm. I said a million seven. You said four million. That's about what's out there. Yeah, we were talking about this before All we right, started. Four yeah. million out mm-hmm. there. I'll take your numbers. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? You got four million of those out there. What are you going to do? Oh, retroactively make everybody a felon? That has never worked. The Supreme Court will shoot that down today. So they might ban the future sales of that. Well, that's what Democrats do. Mm -hmm. I mean... Live with it. Elections have consequences. Yeah. Um, so someone, Dan hates you, is saying that Q Firearms uh, got told to stop making uh, four different guns in their lineup. Uh, from what we know, mm-hmm. there's about four other companies that got those letters. So I think we're we're on the edge of that. Go I, ahead, Patrick. I, no, so I think, I think going all the way back to my initial question, the answer is litigation. What do you do when they start getting tyrannical? It's litigation. You, I think you were saying that if if it were come if if they were to come after something else, take it to court. That's that yeah. is your that's your suggestion, right? If they were to come with some ridiculous ban on everything we've been talking about, retroactive, but you gotta turn them in, blah blah blah. It'll be tight. Biden won't live that long. <laughs> that's the scary <laughs> thing. Um, no, I'm, it it. it it will be tied up mm-hmm. forever. The Supreme Court is never going to say, oh, so ATF authorized all these sales and it's in the Federal Register and it's under the Constitution and they approved it, but now we're going to make everybody pay. That ain't going to happen. Yeah, I'm not going to, uh, I could say, well, let me not, well, whatever. I'm not complying with that either way. Let me ask you this. Uh, we've got maybe two minutes here. By the way, shout out to Aries Training Facility out there. And also, I would like to say, come on, 17 people smash the thumbs up so we can get to 100 while we got Vincent here. Don't embarrass me, guys. Come on, 17. Yeah, yeah, don't embarrass me. And then go out and get the book. The Aries, go out and get the book, Rat Snakes. So there you go. Um, here's my question I would ask you on this, Vincent. Since this is your area of expertise, you are seasoned. I am doing air quotes on seasoned because you're... you're <laughs> well-seasoned agent you've trained other um atf agents out there right correct okay what how what would be your feeling of going after the civilian population on something like uh pistol braces that'd be a nightmare Uh, oh god that'd be a nightmare (laughs) picture 
he just stole my word. Picture the worst nightmare of your life. Mm-hmm. Okay. It ain't going to happen. Like mine. Mm-hmm. I bought one years ago. I had a boating accident. <laughs> oh, my Went to the bottom of the lake. V- visit, you can't be an ATF agent telling us about a boating accident. <laughs> <laughs> Get a search warrant and prove like, me wrong. I can't believe it. <laughs> Vince, you just made like everything. People's computers, phones are exploding out there. They, they're like, I can't believe a freaking 30 plus years ATF agent is telling me he lost his in a boating Dude, accident. ATF agents as a whole. And I, I knew, I literally knew almost every agent in the bureau because mm-hmm. I was active and I traveled. Mm-hmm. I literally knew people from every field division and everybody felt the same. Mm-hmm. Nobody's after the legal gun owners. Mm-hmm. Nobody, nobody I know is after the legal gun owners. Yeah. Make sure to check out hankstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.